while everything seems to be peaceful in the Big 12, as of right now, yes, we know currently. conference realignment goes crazy. Not necessarily the same for the ACC. Uh, so Pete Thamel uh, reported this morning. I'm going to read you just a, a chunk of the article that he wrote uh, for, for ESPN today on what's going on with Clemson. So Clemson filed a lawsuit against the ACC on Tuesday that pretends it's exit from the league. In a filing in the Court of Common Pleas in Pickens County, South Carolina, Clemson calls into question both the ACC's grant of rights and exit fees, calling the withdrawal penalty unconscionable. Wow. I can't. Unconsciousable. There you go. That's a cra- That's the first time I ever heard that word before. And unenforceable. Nailed that it one. also calls the ACC's view that the league's grant of media rights would allow the league to own Clemson's media rights after it left the league, a nonsensical reading, wrong and inconsistent with the plain language of the agreement. Clemson asked the suit for a declaration that the ACC would not own the rights to Clemson's games, which makes sense in my mind, after Clemson ceases to be a member of the ACC. Clemson also wants the ACC exit fee, three times the ACC operating budget, an estimated $130 million, ruled as an unenforceable penalty in violation of public policy. The total cost of the exit within the rights um, with the rights and the fee was cast as $572 million in Florida State's lawsuit, also a lawsuit um, in, in terms of the exit fees. So now you've got, realistically, the second largest football program in the ACC trying to bounce, right? Yeah. We're talking about the ACC potentially falling apart. If Clemson and Florida State leave, I don't think there's enough in that conference to keep it going. Now you're talking, you're talking about crumbling. You're talking about crumbling. You're talking about crumbling. Poor, poor Stanford at Cal in SMU that just made it over Dude, to the ACC. Okay. okay, listen, when I don't blame people for wanting to lead the conference that said, you know what, uh, we're the Atlantic Coast Conference. Let's bring Cal and Stanford in. No, it wasn't the move. It wasn't the move. Anyways, yeah, I I don't blame him. I don't blame that him for right leaving. there, you see that? When I send what's clipped... That face right there that he made needs to be on that thumbnail, damn it. Dude, I've been making some, <laughs> I've been I've been making some faces, dog. I've had people screenshot it and send it to me. And I think I just gotta start like wearing a mask or something mm. because I I can't control my facial expressions. I don't realize that I'm actually on camera. Like to me, I'm just talking to my my good friend Anthony Totri with with Danielle sitting over there behind the Mac and then all my friends in chat. I don't realize you guys can actually see me right now, you know? So I gotta stop making those types of You're faces. You're not invisible, my friend. Ah, I wish I was. Sometimes. Isn't it crazy though? We're what? talking about Clemson, a team that's won a national championship in the last decade, ready to bounce. And a team that's in Florida State. It is crazy. I don't think so. It is crazy. If, crazy. if we were talking about Alabama, Ohio State, or Georgia. Okay, but they're not. <sighs> Clemson's the, the cream of the crop, or at least they have been in the ACC with a Florida State for a while now. Yeah, but Dabo Sweeney is such a piece of toilet bowl trash. Like, I I can't. Like, anything Clemson-wise, they just, <laughs> they've fallen off. I, I just, I don't know. I don't find it surprising that, it, obviously, they're fine. They're a good football program. What do you think They're happens with this whole thing? Uh, I think that they leave. I, I think you Florida do. State and I think Clemson get out. I think they join the SEC. And then I think it's another Pac-12 situation where you're just out for the picking, basically. And the schools that sit by and don't get out ahead of it like a Florida State, like a Clemson, are going to get screwed like their current members, yeah. Stanford and Cal, did. Yeah. And I think now we are very much barreling towards with no diversion, just two conferences. And it's just going to be whatever the SEC's next version is and whatever the Big 12 next version is, which they're still going to be called the Big 12 even when they have 35 So you teams. think the Big 10 also disbands at some point? Uh, I, uh, dude, honestly, if the ACC can dissolve and the Pac-12, which, like, let's not get it twisted. The Pac-12 had terrible leadership, like, terrible direction. They, they tried so many programs, things that, that sucked. As far as conferences go... Like, they were really good. They have had incredible success in basketball. They've had inc- incredible success in football. They've had off, they've had awful teams, too. But, like, if you look at it, like, the Pac-12 was not some crappy conference. They just weren't. They were poorly run, and they had some pretty bad moments. Yeah. But they also had some national champions. Many national champions. Some of the best teams in college sports, period. Yeah. Like, that, but it, it's... It was if five years ago I told you the Pac-12 wouldn't exist anymore, you would laugh in my face. I'd say it's pretty crazy. You'd laugh in my face. Yeah, I and mean, here we are. It's yeah, we're we're in a weird spot. 
Right, and we've been in a weird spot for some time now. Ryan in the chat, how many schools can a conference realistically hold, though? I it mean, wouldn't you can't be the- have a 30-team SEC. I disagree, because you look at the Big 12 as it stands right now, and we're talking about a 12-game season, three games are non-conference. You're talking about nine games that are conference games, excluding a potential conference championship yeah. game. You're not seeing every team every year anyways. There's a handful of opponents that you are going to repeat recycle um, every single year so i think you could in theory if there were just two conferences you could have 50 60 schools and guess what now you're just every few years outside of the same four you're just going to be playing new yeah. schools i think and that's totally fine you know how like cable was like killed by streaming services and yeah. now it just came back as cable again like it's just it's just cable with like different lipstick on it you know that's what's going to happen with this conferencing. We're going to lose all of our conferences. Are it's going to break back? down to two, and then they're going to divide. It's going to be like the SEC Northwest, the it's SEC disgusting. Southwest. Like it's going, to, it's just going to be cable all it's over again. It's going to be the NFL. Like That's it's what it is. is. It's going. It's headed to the NFL. We're going to get conferences. Now we're going to get divisions. And we've already got free agency. Like, that's where we're right. headed. And, and that's the just playoffs it's the way that it is. Give me a play in game, damn it. It's the like, way this that is, it is. This is what we've got. Now, last thing before we get out of here, talk about a potential move. Okay. Clemson, FSU, you already brought it. Yeah, Those two, in my mind, they go to the SEC. I think also you're talking about Georgia Tech and a Miami heading to the SEC as well. Okay. Miami has the overall culture of a program. I feel like it, it fits in the SEC. Georgia Tech, for Georgia's sake, I feel like Georgia brings like along. It's fine. If, if you're just picking up schools. You're picking Georgia up your little Tech's brother. Fine. You're picking up your little brother. Yeah, but it's not, like, it's not like a little brother of like Georgia's 12 yeah. and, and Georgia Tech's like eight. We're talking like Georgia's 23 and picking up their three-year-old brother, Georgia Tech. Yeah. that That's realistically where you're at. I'm looking at a rundown. I'm looking at the the four teams that you you would have going to the Big 12. And let me just say, that basketball conference that's would what be I'm hell saying. on That's earth. what I'm saying. Tell them what you, what you think is going to happen. I think if, if, this if happens. the conference actually disbands, right? What did we see already from the Big 12? They understand that football is not their thing. Yes, they're good in football, but basketball is where they make their money. You're adding in Arizona. You've already got Houston, Iowa State, Baylor, all of these other schools. I think the Big 12 would add Duke, oh. UNC, oh. NC State, and Louisville. Dude. To an already ridiculous Dude. basketball Dude, conference. If, if, if a- Imagine Arizona State's schedule is Duke, UNC, Arizona, Baylor, Houston, Houston Iowa State. They're winning zero conference games. You're forgetting Kansas. In Kansas. Oh, yeah. Twice a year you get Kansas. Yeah, you're not winning a single conference game. If that happens, can we rejoin the Pac-12? <laughs> I think that's, Please. <laughs> that's where the Big 12 goes. I think the Big 10 adds Pitt, Virginia, Virginia Tech, Wake Forest, all schools that can compete in the middle of the pack with football. Those scream um, Big 10. Absolutely. And then, now the unfortunate thing is, similar to the Pac-12, where you had some outliers in Oregon State and Washington State, I think the teams that get left behind are a Boston College, Stanford, Cal, Syracuse, and SMU. <laughs> Stanford, um, Cal, rejoining Washington State, Oregon State, and the uh, new Mountain West. That's going to be great. I just don't see these... Big conferences specifically wanting to add more than four other schools because no. you already talk about the media rights and, and you know the pool that has to get kind of split by each university. Yeah, more than four feels a little crazy to me. Um, but uh, again, I feel like that's that's where you're at. And can you imagine? Uh, Erica kind of brings it up in the chat, but you have Bobby Hurley against Duke. Twice I don't a year. care. I don't want to see Duke. Yeah, you I don't, don't want to see Duke. Duke. How about Kansas? Okay, what if about- what if instead of what if instead of uh, and I know that they have they have good basketball program except for Louisville right Louisville right now is not great. Imagine if Syracuse came instead. Yeah, Syracuse I could see as well. I could see that as well. <laughs> I mean, they're not like amazing right now, but there is a, a sort of legacy thing where you would imagine that eventually they kind of get back to where yeah, they were. Yeah, absolutely. Oh man, I don't want to see Duke, UNC, Arizona, like. <sighs> You Kansas, Houston, Baylor, Colorado's not bad. Utah's usually decent. TCU. I, that's Conference just, realignment. No, not okay. We talk about the season. Imagine how crazy the Big 12 tournament would be. That would be listen, if I wasn't <laughs> if Imagine I wasn't, how crazy that would be. If I wasn't an ASU fan, I'd be all for it. But yeah, I, I think you'd get to a point where not every team would make the, the conference tournament. It would be just like no, the best 12. No, uh, If you have 30, 30 teams in the yeah. conference, I don't know. I, it's 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 uncharted territory, and I'm kind of at the point where if I see the notification tomorrow that's like Clemson's gone, I'm like, okay, that makes sense. But if it says they're stay, they stay, I'm like, okay, that makes sense. Like I, don't, I can't really like weigh everything based off of what are they going to do because – Dude, anything could happen yeah, in college happen. in college sports period right now. And the same thing with transfers. Anybody could transfer. And I'd be like, yeah, okay. 
not not that it doesn't affect me or that I don't have like an opinion on it, but it's just it's not gonna surprise me anymore. Yeah. I'm in a state where I can't be surprised. Boo. No. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Be surprised. <laughs>